Hello and welcome to Electric Moments. If you're at the start of your electric journey, then this is the series for you. When you switched to a smartphone, a smart TV, when you started shopping or streaming online, initially it likely felt a little bit alien, but in no time at all, all of that just became second nature, right? Yeah, I mean, after a day or two, most new electric car owners, and we know thousands of them, often wonder what all the fuss was about. And after a month or two, when they realize how much fun they are to drive, how easy they are to drive, and how cheap they are to run, they often wonder why they didn't act sooner. Yeah, that was definitely the case for me. So we're here to help simplify your switch to an electric vehicle. So let's start by talking to you about what life is like living with an electric car. Now, people don't tend to look back once they've made the switch. And in fact, in a recent survey, uh, a ZapMap survey of electric car drivers, 91% said they would not go back to a combustion car. Yeah, that is a huge, huge percentage. Well, I started driving electric uh, probably just over a year ago and a couple of things that really struck me was firstly just the amount I was charging at home. I didn't really expect yeah, that yeah. Um, how freeing it was to wake up knowing I had a fully charged car, a full tank, essentially. Um, and I, I, I didn't expect those things. Yeah. And that's largely the case for high mileage users, too. I mean, before people drive electric, you don't give much thought to the amount of time that your car is sitting idle. You know, you just parked when you're at work, when you're asleep, all those times. And in fact, on average in the UK, it is 96% of the time you're not using your car. It's like this, doing nothing. No. Yeah, so... 96. 96%. <laughs> But actually, all that time is time when you, you're not in the car, you can be charging it and you can charge it during those times without having to change your habits at all. Um, another thing that I really like about electric vehicles, and this is a luxury, but I love being able to get into a preheated, de-iced car, especially when it's cold outside. So, I mean, there are loads of little benefits like that and I, I couldn't live without them now. I mean, but there are things that take a bit more getting used to, I think. Yeah, yeah, there are. So charging an electric vehicle away from home, whether that's at work or at the shops or on a longer journey, that does sort of like present some things that take a bit of getting used to, but certainly it's it's the case it's getting easier every single yeah. day. But I mean, did you find that difficult the first time you went on a longer journey then? I think sort of like, I guess to give my answer a bit of context, like firstly, I very rarely went further than sort of like quick local journeys. Occasionally I'd go an hour and a half at most. So I wasn't really having to worry about charging on the road. But on the very few occasions that I was doing longer journeys, I'd say it wasn't difficult, it wasn't hard, it was just different and took some getting used to. But like I said, it really is getting easier every single day. But we want to give you, I guess, honest opinion. So we're going to be talking to real people and yes. find out what their experiences are living with an electric vehicle people like you. I've had an electric car for two and a half years now. Um, I had my first test drive in an electric car back in 2012 and I was smitten back then. It was such a fantastic drive experience. Making the transition to an electric car has been a really, really easy one for me and for my family. Um, the electric car that, that I drive now is perfect for, for me and my two children. Um, really brilliant to drive, really cheap to charge and to run. So yeah, it's an ideal family car. The thing that I like most about my Kia e-Nero is it's brilliant to drive but also the regenerative braking is fantastic. So sometimes when I get back from the school run, I've even added a mile of range, which I love. The thing that took the most adjustment for me when I made the switch to electric driving was thinking about how to charge my car, but actually I charge at home overnight for maybe 95% of the time, so it's really easy. And then when I do need to charge out and about, normally that's really straightforward too. The way that I normally use my car, my electric car, is during the week, it's to do the school run and to do local trips uh, round and about, you know, the local shop. At weekends, I'll go a bit further afield um, on day trips with the children. The costs of running my electric car are 
minuscule actually. So it costs me to charge it home about one pence per electric mile. And when there's lots of renewable energy on the system, I actually get paid by my energy supplier to charge my car, which I absolutely love. Um, so compared with my previous diesel car, um, the cost to drive that was, I think, about 13 to 15 pence per mile. So in terms of fuel, it's a lot cheaper to run an electric car. And then maintenance costs are very, very low as well compared with my diesel car. For anybody who's thinking about making the switch to an electric car, I'd recommend that they speak to other EV drivers. Um, you can find your local EV group. Um, on social media or online and also reach out to Electric Vehicle Association England for lots of great advice to help you on your electric journey. It's great to get such positive opinions and in my personal experience there are absolutely more pros than cons to EVs. Um, but that's enough from us. The best thing is for you to just try one and let the vehicle do the talking. I mean, if you are thinking about taking the plunge, our friends at Lease Plan have created an online tool to help you find out within minutes if an electric vehicle is right for you. And if you're still not quite convinced, stick with us for the rest of this series when we're going to be talking about things like the total cost of ownership, um, everything you wanted to ask about electric vehicles but were afraid to ask. And also, we're going to be thinking about how to get the most out of your electric vehicle. And as always, if you have been, thank you for watching. Thank you.